My name is Amanda Holland and I'm Director of Advising for the Robbins College of Health and Human Sciences here at Baylor University. Um, I'm just thrilled that you guys are with me today to learn more about Robbins College and the programs that we offer here. I'll start a little bit um, and share a little bit about myself. Um, I am a class of 1993 grad from Baylor, Sikkim, and uh, I've been working here at Baylor for almost 10 years. Baylor, run. I think we have green and gold running through our family for sure. We have lots of Baylor bears. My husband, when he is not doing his duties as a surgeon in town in Waco, he is also uh, working here at Baylor with the Robbins College as well. So um, needless to say, um, we definitely have a love, 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 love for Baylor. Um, and also, some exciting news. Last year, our oldest daughter um, decided to come to Baylor. So we now have a freshman who is finishing her first year here at Baylor, and we're super excited about that. So I've been a student at Baylor, uh, faculty and staff, as well as now I'm a mom, a Baylor mom. We're Baylor parents, so that's super exciting. So talking about the Robbins College, you might ask, why Robbins? Why would I want to choose Robbins College? Well, our departments share the common purpose of improving quality of life and well-being for individuals, families, and communities. Um, our majors are definitely in high demand, um, representing dynamic and growing disciplines. Um, one thing I think is unique about the Robbins College is most of our majors have an internship or practicum experience as a part of your programming. And this prepares you for your profession, graduate school, professional school, and maybe even a research degree. So it's a great way to go. So let's dive into um, the mission of the college. Robbins College at Baylor draws upon Baylor's Christian mission and tradition in healthcare to prepare scholars and leaders who can translate theory into practice and advance knowledge of health, human behavior, and quality of life. So if you look at the PowerPoint, you can see that we house four departments within our college, communication sciences and disorders, family and consumer sciences, health, human performance and recreation, and public health. So let's start with communication sciences and disorders. That beautiful picture you see is the new uh, Baylor Speech Language and Hearing Clinic right in the heart of campus. It's in between 4th and 5th streets. And Communication Sciences and Disorders has one major. It's the CSD major, and you can go two directions. You can choose to be speech language pathology or deaf education. Speech language pathology is for sure the most, um, the largest one of the two and the most popular, but deaf education is awesome as well. And we also house the minor for sign language interpreting. The good thing about our program here at Baylor is that you get those observation hours that are required for grad school with your undergraduate program. You get the 25 observation hours in that beautiful building I just showed you um, on campus as part of one of your classes your senior year. Um, once you graduate with the degree, the Bachelor of Science degree is what you're earning for speech pathology, um, you are qualified now to work as a speech language pathology assistant. But remember, if you want to become a certified speech language pathologist, you got to have grad school in the back of your mind. We love to talk about our study abroad programs. We have offered past mission trips to Honduras and Africa in this program. When you look at the next department we have, it is called Family and Consumer Sciences. That picture you see there is uh, the Piper Center for Family Studies and Child Development, and it's housed downtown in Waco. Uh, the, the department also has two beautiful buildings on campus where uh, the programs are split and 
uh, I think we should get some, to some photos of those here in just a minute. But looking at those programs in family and consumer sciences, we start with apparel design and product development. We also have apparel merchandising, child and family studies, general family consumer sciences, interior design, and nutrition. And the ones that have those asterisks right next to it, those have minors. So you could also get a minor in one of these if you wanted to with whatever major you pick. So apparel design and product development, I think this picture is a great represent, it represents the major well because it is a hands-on program. This prepares students for entry-level careers in design, product development, uh, many work in uh, private labels for companies such as BCG for Academy, Antonio Milani at Dillard's, Charter Club at Macy's. We have someone working on phone cases with Otterbox as well. It's a great field. You also have possible minors that you can add to this program, administ business administration, as well as entrepreneurship. Study abroad, again, is wonderful opportunities. There are wonderful opportunities with this program. They go to New York, they go to Montreal, um, even Europe. And they do a runway show as well, which is awesome. And that's where they show their senior collection. And there's an internship. Like I spoke about earlier, there, are, there is an internship required for this program as well. Apparel merchandising uh, basically prepares students to enter the buying positions, planning and allocation, global sourcing, e-commerce, online, as well as digital merchandising, visual merchandising, store management, store representative positions for companies. Some of our current interns are working at some really cool places. There's one working at Say Yes to the Dress. We have some at Yankee Stadium, Rebecca Minkoff, Nordstrom. Of course, Magnolia, we always got some of those. Angel Stadium, Yeti, and Nike. Again, they do some fabulous study abroad trips, New York, Montreal, as well as Europe. And there's an internship included in this program. The next program they have within Family and Consumer Sciences is Child and Family Studies. Again, you're earning a Bachelor of Science degree Child development is the first track you could go with this program. This provides a focus on education, curricular design, literacy, and guidance. This prepares students for careers in early childhood intervention, children's museums, child and family ministry, CPS, as well as education. Child life is a second track you can go with this program. This prepares students with academic prerequisites to pursue a certification as a child life specialist. Basically, after graduation, you're gonna pursue your master's degree and then get your certification. You must complete a 150 hour practicum as an undergraduate student at Baylor and the internship for this track is actually after you graduate. And then we go to the third one is family life education. This provides students with academic and professional preparation to become a certified family life educator. Students are prepared to work in careers in adoption and foster care, family policy and advocacy and parenting education. The final track for child and family studies is occupational therapy. This is a new one. We're super excited about it because it prepares students with OT, school prerequisite courses with a unique focus on multidimensional development through the lifespan and field-based shadowing experience. So if anybody's interested, they love working with children and families, but they might wanna to go to occupational therapy school, this would be the right track for you. We have another program in this, in this department called General Family Consumer Sciences. Again, another Bachelor of Science degree. This is a broad education in all areas in the department. You get a little bit of apparel, a little bit of interior design, a little bit of child and family, as well as a little bit of nutrition. It prepares you. We see students in this uh, program, we've seen some go into the mission field. We've seen some go into catering. Even uh, event planning is a great way to go if you're this major. Um, this is more of a discovery major. We see students fall into this major after they've started at Baylor, not necessarily first year students uh, dive into this program. There is no internship in this one, just to be mindful of that. And then the next one is the interior design. 
That is a Bachelor of Science degree as well. This is an accredited program that meets the quality standards recognized by the profession and prepares students to become licensed interior designers. Now, one thing you have to pay attention to is that you must have two years of work experience after you graduate before you can sit for that licensing exam. They do some great portfolio reviews after your sophomore year as well as your senior year, and there is an internship required as part of the programming. They do also have those awesome study abroad opportunities. They go to London and Paris if you're interested in that. And the last uh, program we have with Family and Consumer Sciences is Nutrition Sciences. Again, you're earning a Bachelor of Science degree. There are three concentrations that you can choose from in this field. We have pre-dietetics. Again, this is an accredited program that prepares students to become registered dietitians. Upon completion of the degree, you must apply for and be accepted into your internship, as well as complete your master's degree, and then you sit for that national exam. The second track would be pre-healthcare. This one is slowly increasing. We have lots of people that are coming this direction who want to be in a health-related field. We've seen people who want to be uh, in dentistry, but they also have a love for nutrition. Maybe those who want to be a pediatrician as well as have a focus on nutrition, they've gone this route. Uh, this definitely prepares you to enter a variety of healthcare fields while having a strong background in nutrition. There are one thing to always keep in mind if you are going to a professional school after your undergraduate program, know that you do need to keep in mind that you're satisfying all those prerequisite courses that you need to enter that program after Baylor or after your undergraduate program. There might be some additional classes that you need, and this would be one that you would want to be mindful of. Uh, food management is the third track, and this prepares you to enter a variety of food service management careers, such as healthcare, universities, schools, restaurants, and even hotels, and some catering. We've seen that as well. So we're on to the third department within our college. It is called Health, Human Performance, and Recreation, HHPR for short. And if you look at that beautiful picture, you'll see the fountain right in the heart of campus. Right behind that fountain, you'll see Mars McLean Gym. HHPR has several majors. We have the largest major within this department is Health Science Studies. It has six tracks. We also have Exercise Physiology, Health Kinesiology and Leisure Studies, Recreation and Leisure Services, which has three tracks, as well as Physical Education, PE. Starting with Health Science Studies, you're earning a BS degree, a Bachelor of Science degree, and the six tracks, we'll just dive right into those right now. The first one is Pre-Med or Pre-Dent. That's exactly what it sounds like. This is for somebody who's interested in being pre-med or pre-dent, and they want to apply to those professional schools when they graduate. This basically has all of those prerequisite courses I was talking about built into this major, which makes it very nice. Of course, you can be any major you want. If you are wanting to be pre-med, I've seen a student who's a music major who has also satisfied all the prerequisite courses that's needed to go to, you know, to, go to med school. But uh, this program makes it nice because all of those courses are built into the program. You're not having to think about your major and your prerequisites. They're all there built in together. We also have a track that satisfies the physical therapy prerequisite courses. So those are built in as well. The third area you could dive into with health science studies is pre-athletic training. This one's unique because it's a five-year joint degree program. You're earning two degrees at the very end at the same time. You're earning your Bachelor of Science as well as your Master's in athletic training all together at the end of five years, which is a wonderful opportunity. We also have pre-physician assistant track. This again satisfies those prerequisite courses you need to apply for PA school. We also have health professions. This track is not necessarily discovered by incoming freshmen or new students to Baylor. It's more of a discovery major after you've settled in and you're trying to find what fits for you. We see that this can prepare students for really a career in any health profession. 
If you notice, the GPA is a little bit lower. We've seen some students go into this area after they, they may have maybe started one way, maybe that they thought that they were gonna go pre-med, and then they realized that is not the fit for me, but I do wanna be in a clinical setting. This was the right track for them. Then we have the final one for health science studies is science education. This one leads to a teacher certification in Texas, um, and you're also doing uh, the three semesters of classroom experience beginning your junior year. And it's a wonderful opportunity if you're wanting to teach science. The next program we have in HHPR is exercise physiology. Again, you're also earning a Bachelor of Science degree. This one, um, this is where you see the people who want to become strength and conditioning specialists or maybe cardiopulmonary rehabilitation specialists. Um, worksite or community wellness specialists as well as sports nutritionists, they fall into this group. It also has a strong foundation for occupational therapy school and, or, and even PT school as well, but do know that there's additional hours that need to, to be met in order to satisfy those prerequisites for those professional schools. But again, if these people definitely pick this route if they wanna really specialize in exercise physiology. Other campuses across Texas, I've seen them refer to this as kinesiology. So if you've heard of a major called kinesiology, this is more what that would be if that's what you're looking for. The next major we have is a very long title. It's Health, Kinesiology, and Leisure Studies. This is a Bachelor of Science in Education degree. This one is just like the title says, it's a little bit of public health, it's a little bit of human performance, a kinesiology, it's a little bit of leisure studies, rec and leisure. So it's a little bit of everything all tied into one nice package. This is probably our most flexible degree program. There are 31 hours of general electives with this program, which is the most flexible one, like I said, that we have. We see it's not necessarily like that other one. It's not necessarily um, a major that we see our freshmen diving into. It's more of a discovery major after you get to campus and you realize maybe what I had wasn't for me, but this one definitely can tailor to my special needs. I've seen students go this route who want to be occupational therapists. So they've decided they're gonna tailor this program to how they want it to be, and they're gonna use those flexible elective hours to satisfy those prerequisite courses they need to enter OT school. Uh, like I said, the courses can be concentrated in one of the three areas to prepare students for general careers in the area of health, fitness, recreation, and sports. Recreation and leisure studies is the final, uh, not the final, almost the final one with HHPR. It's a Bachelor of Science in Education degree, and there's three ways you can go with this program. We have outdoor recreation, which you can look at those photos right there. This prepares students to lead rock climbing, backpacking, and kayaking experiences. We also have the second one is Recreation Ministry, a wonderful program that prepares students called to utilize recreation as a tool for ministry and church camp and parachurch settings. And then the last area you could dive into is community sport. This one prepares students for careers in community sport venues, uh, municipal park and recreation departments, campus recreation programs, collegiate sports support departments, and large religious institution sport programs. The final one with HHPR is all level physical education which is PE, the Bachelor of Science in Education degree. This leads to teacher certification in Texas in physical education for um, K through 12, all levels. The final department with the Robbins College is public health. Again, housed in that beautiful building right in the heart of campus on Fifth Street, right behind the fountain. Public health has two programs, the Bachelor of Science in Public Health, which is our general four-year program. We also offer a unique joint degree program, which gives you a Bachelor of Science in Public Health and a Master's in Public Health at the end of five years, which is a great way to go. 
the bachelor, I'm sorry, the Bachelor of Science in Public Health degree, where do you see these people landing in public health? They'll work for public uh, health departments, nonprofit organizations, Texas Ag Life, insurance companies, hospitals, and maybe global health organizations. I tell you this right now with the pandemic that we have going on in our country, a lot of people in public health fields are the ones in the front lines right now helping with a lot of what's going on. Um, you can be accepted after this going into a master's program. We've seen people move on into PT, OT school, medical school, law school, as well as nursing school. Now, again, I want to highlight that um, we love our study abroad trips that we have and the opportunities we have for Robin students. HHPR and public health offer many programs as well. They go to Brazil, Africa. They have some lifetime fitness courses that are studying abroad. They have recreation field study, and they also go to Australia. So how do you become successful in the Robbins College? main thing you need to know is to under, understand your degree requirements. One other piece of advice I would give is to get to know your faculty. Get to know them well because they are all amazing. They're here for you. They want to do everything they can to help you succeed as a Baylor student. So get to know your faculty well. That might be putting some of you out of your comfort zone, but I highly, highly recommend doing that, as well as getting to know your advisor. They are the ones that are going to help you every step of the way to make sure you graduate in a timely fashion and do all that you can to succeed. Also engage while you're a Baylor student. Take part in those internships. And also, I recommend prior to those internships, because those usually happen later in your college career, early on, do some shadowing. Start stepping your foot in the door in the field that you want right off the bat because you want to make sure it's a good fit. Some people shadow their freshman year and then realize, oh no, that's not what I want to do. So you want to make sure that you get your foot in the door and start getting those shadowing and internships going right away as well as study abroad. I can't, I can't push that enough. I know right now, unfortunately, our study abroad programs have discontinued for the time being, but once everything gets up and going again, I highly recommend it. And the final thing I would recommend is to join professional organizations. Most every program we offer in the Robbins College has a professional organization tied to it. So you will be taught about that your freshman year and you'll learn more and more about it as you go along and you'll definitely want to be heavily involved in those professional organizations as a student. So Today, I ask that you pretty please like our Instagram and Facebook pages. I've listed them all right here. If you're interested, I would go ahead and just take a screenshot of this slide so you can go back and surf all these pages. And there's lots of wonderful information about what's going on with the college every day. So I highly recommend that you look at those. And I'm just so thankful you uh, sat and had time with me today. We are so Thankful for you guys that you're interested in Baylor. I mean, we pray for our new students every day, and we are just thrilled that you've taken the time to be with us today. And I wish you the best of luck in the rest of your sessions this afternoon. I know you're probably going to be visiting a lot of different areas. And so I wish you only the best. And thanks again for taking the time to see us. Have a great day.